If you use Adobe Lightroom to edit your photos, you'll be happy to hear that Smart Albums and Lightroom work very well together. Image ratings and labels that were set in Lightroom are visible in Smart Albums. For example, let's say that you added star ratings to this group of images. Assume that for your favorite images, you used the five star rating. For the lesser favored, you used the four star rating, and for the rest, a three star rating. Once you export the images from Lightroom and import into Smart Albums, you'll be able to see the ratings for each image in the inspector on the right and filter the images based on the Lightroom rating. For instance, if you want to only see your favorite images, you can set the filter to only show the images that are rated five stars. Now, only images with a five star rating are displayed in the image browser on the bottom. By integrating Lightroom ratings and labels into Smart Albums, you can work even faster, especially when dealing with a lot of images. Another need for integration arises when you want to make sure that you are only working with the latest version of the images. If you make adjustments in Lightroom, you'd want to make sure that these changes have also been applied to the images in Smart Albums. How do you accomplish this? Well, there are two ways to synchronize Lightroom edits with Smart Albums. The basic method. Consider the following scenario. You edited your images in Lightroom, exported them to a folder on your computer, imported these images into Smart Albums, and built an album. You then decide that you want to edit some images in the album. For instance, you might want to make all of the images on this spread black and white. To do this, go back to Lightroom, find the images you want to edit, and apply the changes. In this case, let's make these images black and white. As you can see, even though the images in Lightroom are changed, the Smart Albums copies do not reflect these changes right away. As you can see here, these images in Smart Albums are still in color. That's because after making the changes in Lightroom, you need to export them again and replace the older files with the newly updated files. To do this, select all of the images that were just changed and press Export. When you export, make sure that you save the files to the same location as the initial export. Lightroom will now ask if you want to overwrite the existing images. Choose to overwrite and wait for the export to be completed. As soon as the images are exported, they will be updated in Smart Albums. As you can see, the images on the spread are now all black and white. The Jared Platt method. The issue with this first method is that once you adjust the photos in Lightroom, there is no way to tell which photos have been modified and need to be exported. This becomes an issue when you adjust more than just a few images because you can easily forget which images need to be re-exported. What is needed is for Lightroom to tell you which images have been changed and need to be exported since the last export. Thankfully, there is a way to set up Lightroom for this. The following workflow method is taught by Jared Platt and utilizes Lightroom's Publish Services. In order for this method to work properly, it's important to set it up before you start building your album. While in the Library mode, find Publish Services in the left panel. Click on the hard drive to set up a published service. The window you'll see is going to be almost the same as the export window. Here, tell Lightroom where the photos need to be saved on your computer. Let's call the published service Album Production and save the photos to a folder in the Pictures folder. Next, export full resolution files so that there is maximum image quality. Finally, click Save to create the published service. You'll see that on the left, the published service has been created. You can create a new folder for each new album inside the Album Production Publish service by right-clicking on it and selecting Create Published Folder. As long as you are using the Master Catalog, the next time you make another album, there will be no need to make a new published service. Just add a new published folder to the published service. Now you'll need to take all of the images that you intend to import into Smart Albums and drag them onto the new folder in our published service that you just created. Press Publish in order to export the images to the selected folder. Once the publish has completed, proceed just like before. Take the images you exported, import them into Smart Albums, and make your album. Now let's say you have the same situation where you want to make images on a spread, black and white. You can go to Lightroom and just like before make the edits. This time, however, when you go into the Publish Service Album folder, you'll see a section at the top that says Modified Photos to Republish. What happens is, 
Lightroom knows which photos have been changed, and you don't have to remember which images need to be re-exported. Now all you need to do to update the files is click on Publish. The images will be re-exported and will overwrite the current photos. Once the export is complete, the images and Smart Albums will be automatically updated. By using Lightroom's published services with Smart Albums, your design workflow becomes seamless. You can quickly make new edits in Lightroom and synchronize them with Smart Albums with just a few clicks. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this workflow, feel free to email us at smartalbums at pixaloo.com.